and welcome to Metro Palette. I'm Chris Knutson. Joining me today is Minnesota artist Jim Hensel. Welcome, Jim. Hi, Chris. Hey. Uh, I've known Jim now for, I've been doing this for, I think, eight, nine years almost, and uh, I think you were the first artist I ever met uh, back uh, about eight, nine years ago. Yeah, at least. <laughs> yeah, uh, I do a lot of shows around. Uh, we got started in this business. We, we'd, we'd, me and my brother-in-law, Jim, and I would set up at different county fairs and places like that, and we were out in... Uh, uh, I, think it was, I think it was Waconia. Waconia, yeah. yeah. Carver County Fair. Carver County Fair. I was set up out there, and this guy comes walking up to me and says, so how's my art been selling? And I looked at <laughs> Jim here, and I'm like, your art? I go, well, who are you? And, he, and you go, well, I'm Jim Hensel. And I said, well, I'm Terry Redland. Nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, I think I had to show you my ID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You get a lot of jokers at county fairs drinking beer and stuff or whatever, you know what I mean? So I, you I never know who's... BS in your not so I think he did show me your idea. <laughs> I believe I did, yeah. So uh, since then, time has gone quick as far as eight, nine years goes by like that. And, That's right. You know, we've uh, I've done a, been fortunate enough to do a number of shows with you over the years as far as uh, the Deer Classic and different events in my gallery and stuff. And, mm -hmm. You know, I have to say, uh, consistently, you have been my best uh, artist show, you know, as far as when I have an artist come in and sign the idea is, is that, you know, I pay for a lot to promote it and stuff, but obviously I got to sell stuff to pay the overhead and, you know, every show consistently you've been, I think, the best show. So I want to thank you for that. Oh, well, thanks for having me. I'm glad to, uh, you know, be able to meet the public at, at these shows you sponsor. Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, I'm, you know, uh, there's a million artists out there, you know, and every one of them has their own style and character and whatnot. You know, and uh, you know, you have a very distinctive style to your art. When I see it, you know, I can usually tell, hey, that's a Hensel before I see it. You know, and, mm -hmm. it's, and then lately here, it seems like you've changed your style quite a bit as far as some of the myth series and stuff. You know, yeah, I've uh, I've mixed it up a little bit. I've gone from just the more colorful sunset type pieces, which I still do, uh, but I've softened the look a little bit with. For example, that Mist series I just came out with recently um, changed my subjects a little bit, doing some pieces that I haven't, or subject matter that I haven't done before, uh, just to try some new things. You know, everybody's artists, I think, always try or challenge themselves, I think, to do uh, new things and try different techniques here and there. It seems like most of the artists I ask the question to is, hey, what's your favorite piece? Most of them usually say, it's this is the last one I just did here, you know. I mean. But if I had to ask you what your favorite piece of all time would be, what would you think that would be? Well, I guess uh, probably would be Field of Dreams. Uh, it's a night scene with a combine harvesting some pheasants flying up. Um, that's probably been one of my most successful images, too, as far as sales go. But that was challenging just to get the lighting right. And it's a real dramatic piece that I did. In fact, that, that piece was up in my gallery for a long time, too, and, I mean, it would just stop people in their tracks. I mean, mm -hmm. your originals are all, like, this is an original painting here that we're looking at, and I think you said most of the, your originals you do very similar size-wise, you know? Yeah, I like to work on a larger scale just to get uh, as much detail into them as I can. Um, not to mention, because of my visual impairment, it's easier for me to work on a larger scale and trying to... Uh, squish a lot of <laughs> detail into a small painting. Yeah, uh, and then when they usually when it gets printed, they shrink it down a little bit. And right, and I think that it just makes the image look that much better too when it gets reduced down. Does it get hard to keep proportion when it gets that big? Well, when I was first starting out in the business, uh, I found it a little challenging to get proportion right. Sometimes things might have been off a little bit, but over the years, you just learn um, as an artist what to look for and how to adjust things to get it you know to the size it should be sure and and i know uh a mutual friend of ours another artist kevin daniel mm -hmm. uh neighbor of yours too and i know a good friend of mine yeah and he got, uh, i know you guys kind of bounce each other's paintings off each other and critique each other quite a bit and oh yeah we're always ripping each other apart <laughs> yeah that's good though <laughs> you know it's a good thing though i think uh it just makes for better pieces in the long run yeah. But I see Kevin at least you know once a week. We might go out to ha have lunch and uh, talk about what we're working on and show each other the, the pieces. Sure, and that helps too. You know, having and that's you know it helps having other artists to like you said bounce ideas off mm -hmm. of, probably get you know marketing ideas and 
creative little niches and you know maybe one artist is too busy with some project and someone approaches you well hey I know another guy to pass it off on right I've, and I've done that a lot with Kevin um, because I'll get people co coming to me looking for portraits and I really don't specialize in that but I know Kevin's done a lot of portraits over the years for people and yeah. uh, and he does a really good job with it so. sure well, uh, yeah, Kevin's one of the future artists that we'll have on the show, too. So, But uh, if you want to see Kevin's art or Jim's art here, you can go to our website any time of the day and uh, check out uh, all the artists. We have over 15,000 images on the Internet. And our website is www.artbarbarians.com. We, uh, we have a very complete collection of Jim's art, and we're adding stuff literally uh, weekly to that website trying to get caught up with all your art over the years that's been long sold out mm -hmm. every now and then we'll come across the piece and get it on the website i try to have the most complete you know catalog of not only minnesota art but every artist that we deal with try to get everything that you've ever done you know on there so that's still a goal in progress but <laughs> yeah well you know i'm i've been pretty busy lately too so i'm always adding to it so uh you know there's always something new to be putting on there sure yeah and uh you know, Jim also just came out with a new catalog here uh, this year. It's got a number of uh, old images and a lot of the new stuff's in here. You know, uh, if anyone at home wants to get a catalog, you can give us a call, uh, you know, at 763-494-8888, and we'll be glad to pop one of these in the mail for you. Or if you stop by our shop up in Rogers, we'll get him a copy of this. But it's kind of a very complete... Uh, you know, the portfolio of all your art over the years, and yeah, that's actually the first catalog I've produced, and uh, it, I think if people you know order the catalog, that um, they're going to see a lot of things in there they haven't seen before. Uh, some of the more recent pieces there, and some old old ones too. The, some of the more successful images, um, but it was fun to put that together and just to get something, a hard copy out to people that uh, they can page through and. You know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, I mean, most people at home watching today here, they probably actually have some of your art at home, whether they know it or not. You know, I mean, it's amazing mm -hmm. over the years, people buy art in different places, you know, and your art covers such a grand scale of, you know, kind of Minnesota wilderness and wildlife. And, you know, it's amazing, you know, kind of a funny story here. Uh, a local publisher, I won't name names, but very successful local publishing house, you know, would come into my shop and kind of criticize, why well, why don't you carry more of our stuff, you know, and then they'd look at your art and be like, ah, you know, they'd, you don't <laughs> want to carry Jim Hensel's art, carry our art. And, well, then a month later, I go down to my reps, uh, I was at his house, and sure enough, he's got a couple of your pieces hanging on his wall. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny, so. Well, you know, yeah, I've, I've been approached over the years by publishers to have them market my pieces and publish, but... In the long run, I guess I've always been more of an independent artist and published my own things, yeah. uh, and I, I plan on keeping it that way. Um, I guess it's just what yeah. I prefer to do. Well, I know, like you know, as a as an art gallery owner like myself, you know, your new stuff appeals a lot more to me. Where you've kept the edition size, it's very small. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in some of your older pieces, you would do like an open edition format. You know, and that helps keep the prices down. Right. You know, so it's more affordable for everyone. But a lot of your new stuff now, you've been doing like 200 uh, in some editions, mm -hmm. you know, as many as 900 in others, which is still ridiculously a small edition, only 900. Yeah, I've had as high as uh, 10,000 uh, sign a numbered editions. And now I'm down to 248 uh, as a real, like you said, extremely low yeah. uh, edition size just to make it a little more collectible. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there that, you know, are looking for the things that uh, not everybody's going to have hanging on their wall. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to do. I mean, you buy art because you like it. That's the key. Right. Hands down. If you like it, you're going to enjoy right. it. And that's the way I've always approached it as far as my work, too. If you like it, you know, buy it. But I, I don't make any claims as far as uh, it's going to appreciate in value or anything like that. Um, you know, if it, 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 it happens anyway. Yeah. But, um, 